How's it going guys? I'm Jack and welcome to Dyson Sphere Program. Today we'll be producing blue matrix cubes. I'm aiming to make 180 per minute. I think that's a good amount to start off with for a brand new factory. And that's what this is, a brand new factory and a brand new series. I'm going to do something different though. This is going to be a hybrid between a tutorial and a let's build. So there will be time lapses of the build where I talk through my thoughts and we'll be doing a quick overview at the end of the video so you can see how many machines and the ratios I've used so if you want to you can recreate this there'll be a timestamp in the description and on the play bar uh, if you want to skip to that let me know in the comments what you want to see in the series and of course tell me if I'm doing anything wrong or even if you have any tips that will help me out also if you find this helpful or maybe even if you enjoy it the YouTube algorithm would appreciate it if you hit the like button so starting out just mining copper ore and iron ore classic standard start nothing really else to say about that however um, the copper ore I've just converted all of it into copper ingots because I don't think there's actually anything else you can do uh, with copper ore at the start and um, so we've got a full belt of copper ingots ready to just go anywhere in the factory that we need it um, we do need to use conveyor belts for that and I realized pretty quickly it's going to take a ton so I thought we'd better also make the production of conveyor belts and that's what we're doing here it took me a couple of guys to get the layout just right um, it uses two assemblers uh, and three smelters making iron uh, iron ingots and it makes a gear as well they're going to make one conveyor belt um, I've just stored them over to the side for now I don't really think that's going to be the end place for our storage area but uh, for now I think it was a pretty well it was out of the way I didn't really want it to get in uh, anywhere else um, looking back at this though it's probably a mistake to put the conveyor belt manufacturer right in the middle of everything else but um, it's probably gonna change and I say that it probably won't change <laughs> and uh, when the storage fills up it, it won't actually take any more uh, iron ore off the conveyor belt uh, so the iron ore will just flow through into the other parts of the factory I don't think it's too much of an issue at the moment so moving on to the magnetic coils I calculated that we would need two assemblers to fulfill the 180 per minute and um, the magnetic coils have funny ratios because the magnets that you require for them just be made like I'm just made like 1.5 seconds and it just makes the calculations really horrible so uh, we've got six smelters making magnets and as you can see here I've done a little trick there to make a uh, shorter conveyor belt jump now I got that trick off Skystorm and that is a game changer seriously and um, because the conveyor belts uh, when you put them up a level they're really high so if you put them up a level then delete like half of it you can make a, a conveyor belt that's half high which is really like really useful and just make things a lot easier uh, to uh, route around the factory and um, saying about like routing and the plan there's no real plan for this layout I just go along with it and um, see what fits like an artist you know going with the flow uh, some say the factory builds itself uh, but if you look a bit closer you can see it's uh, held together by duct tape um, but I think it's a pretty good initial layout um, I had a bit of trouble tr getting the magnetic coils out because they kind of got sandwiched in between those two uh, com uh, conveyor belts there but as you can see I've used that trick again uh, to get a little hop over the conveyor belt uh, which is pretty decent and um, before all this actually I actually started uh, gathering coal and stone and uh, for like um, stone we're going to be using later and we need it to build some machines as well uh, the coal is used for the mech power uh, because you run out of power a lot when you're doing research and just building uh, some stuff like uh, loads of stuff like this we did have a lot of power issues which were which was solved by um <laughs> which was solved by just putting a lot of wind turbines down uh, so that was good and I did some unlocks uh, from for the mech like flying and faster walking and stuff uh, like straight away because I could not be walking around at like one mile an hour and um, here we're making the circuit boards I ran into a bit of a problem here because I was near the pole of the planet and the grid gets all squished up so I was trying to get some conveyor belts in um, but it wouldn't let me because they kept colliding with with the assemblers uh, so I um, had to do a little bit of rearranging here I think it turned out pretty well in the end again uh, two assemblers for the 180 uh, blue matrices blue matrices blue matrix cubes I think it's blue matrices I'm just gonna call them blue matrix cubes uh, it's easier in it <laughs> but yeah two assemblers to make the 180 per minute 
uh, which again we're just bringing the uh, copper ore over from our first area actually the copper ore goes into the uh, magnetic coils and the circuit board so we're just using the one conveyor belt to route around the factory like that as for the iron ingots just using four smelters to supply the two assembly machines making the circuit board so it's pretty basic stuff there as for the matrix labs we actually required nine of them so each one makes 20 every minute so 20 times 9, 180, quick maths there. Um, so we've got three stacks of three. I think that looks pretty cool as well. And uh, like I said, I think it's a pretty decent amount to start with. I placed these here. I don't think I'm going to change the position of them. I think that's a decent place for them. The circuit boards and the magnetic coils were pretty easy to get over to this area. I thought it was going to be a little bit harder to route them around, but it just kind of just worked and I didn't really have to do that much uh, reconfiguration or anything. Did a little hop over the uh, copper belt and that was basically the hardest thing about it. Saying that, getting the blue cubes out, it wasn't hard. I just couldn't make my mind up where to put them. I know they're going to be used for research um, in a, like an automatic research area, but I just wanted to store them to start off with just so we could see um, a constant flow and see if we were actually getting 180 Per minute and I really don't know why I changed my mind on this so many times because uh, it really doesn't matter. I should say we're actually using Mark 1 conveyor belts and Mark 1 sorters and Mark 1 buildings to be totally honest. <laughs> Everything's Mark 1 um, at the moment. We'll, uh, we will be using Mark 2 later but for now Mark 1 seems to be good enough for all of this and uh, there we go we've got blue cubes being made. We're now going to head over and check out a quick overview of each of the sections so we can go into a little bit more detail and uh, see it all in action so uh, let's go and do that okay so here's the completed facility we've got our blue matrix labs going at full speed making 180 per minute that's exactly what we wanted absolutely fantastic and uh, well let's take a look at it right we've got our mining over in this direction we've got iron ore there we've got copper ore there they come down on these two conveyor belts here and um, I rooted them past this storage area here just so we could have like a stockpile I don't know why I thought it would be good to just have a stockpile of those the coal comes uh, from here as well going down into our storage area there that's for just purely mech fuel and our stone comes down this conveyor belt I've totally forgotten I think it's over there somewhere um, all, I, all I need to know though is stone comes down here into into this box here. Um, I thought I'd stop part of those just to uh, just for posterity. Um, so we need, might need them in the future. Um, actually, moving on to the machine now, um, we've got the copper ore going into here. This is just getting converted into copper ingots, six per second, and this just goes like around the factory into our other machines uh, where wherever we need them. Um, it's there. Not really anything else to say about that. Um, here we've got our conveyor belt manufacturer now I said it was a mistake to put it in the middle and I think it definitely is a mistake to put it in the middle I've had to disconnect it because it was actually using up too much iron ore um, and it was slowing down production of the circuit boards um, so I disconnected it for now we have got a lot of conveyor belts in there so whenever I need some more I'll just reconnect it up and take a hit on the blue cubes but um, it's not too much of an issue um, but it's pretty decent pretty decent um, anyway the ore continues around here gets converted into six magnets now interestingly uh, if we look on the stats they're only making 160 magnets per minute but we're still reaching the maximum 180 uh, and I think that's because these machines here are just stuck because they can't actually place them on uh, the conveyor belt and I think we may be overproducing by one machine. I really don't know the maths on that, but um, that's what I think is happening. But I'm going to leave it. It looks neat with six in a row like that, and uh, it works, so I don't mind that. Um, these go up to these two machines here. Copper gets taken in. We've got a 0.7 uh, Mark 1 sorter on each of the copper uh, inputs, by the way, and a 1.5 on each of the... Uh, well, we've got magnets and we've got uh, what are the other things? Uh, the copper copper ingots over there. Um, so that's that. Talking about um, copper ingots, uh, iron ingots. Sorry. Um, it looks like we are doing pretty well. We could probably whack one more machine on, I reckon. Um, 
to like use up all this extra stacking up but i wouldn't i wouldn't risk it <laughs> i think i think it's good at the moment so i think we're on the limit we could definitely use uh the copper in other areas but i think the iron we're done for uh, for now but anyway uh the iron comes out here into these two machines and these get rooted over here into uh the blue matrix labs uh the magnetic coils come on the other side as well uh, so that is the machine uh, you can see we've got a lot of wind turbines um, I am going to sort out power uh, probably next episode um, so that is uh, going to be that and uh, yeah I'm very happy that it is producing 180 per minute thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more factory building and management games any questions suggestions or comments leave them down in the comments section below and I do live stream over on Twitch link to my channel is in the description but as always stay safe have fun and I'll see you on the next one